Hello everybody, welcome to Sunday School. This is Miss Marianne. Hope you guys are all doing really well. Hope you got to enjoy that first snowfall that we had, or at least enjoyed how pretty it looked out your back window like I did. We are in the season of Advent, which is the time when we are getting ready for Christmas. It's my most favorite time of the year. And of course, Christmas is a really big deal. It takes time for us to get ready for Christmas. And so the church has lots of ways to help us get ready for everything that is Christmas. One of the ways we have for you to get ready is our Christmas work from home shop. So one of the things we do every year is to hold our workshop where you get to make gifts and presents for the people in your lives for Christmas and maybe something for yourself. And we're still doing that this year. And one of the fun things is, is that um, it's not just one night like it usually is, but it's happening over three weeks. So even though it has already started, you can still join in the fun. So um, you can register for that. It is $10 and you will do six activities um, for that cost. And on Wednesdays, there will be a Zoom where you will make one of those crafts with Miss Julie and special guest Miss Besky, which just sounds delightful. So you uh, can definitely join in for that. For the other activities, there will be um, a video. So there'll be plenty of instructions so you can make all of those cool things um, for the people in your lives and for your house and maybe even for yourself. So um, it was really fun um, picking all those uh, activities out for you. So I hope you really enjoy that. Um, also in your emails um, for the coloring sheets, there's a uh, um, coloring sheet in the email as there is every week, but for Advent, the four of over the course of Advent starting last week, um, the four of them will go together to make a big picture. So they make a very nice picture on their own, but when you get all four of them, you can put them together and they will tell the story of um, Advent and Christmas. So um, I think that's a little extra fun. So that is in there in your email. So keep an eye out for that. One of the ways that we uh, mark Advent and uh, to help us remember what this season is really all about and what Christmas is all about is to have an Advent wreath. And this is the Advent wreath that I made for my house. Now, mine is uh, not super traditional because it's not actually a wreath. Uh, it's supposed to be on a wreath, which is a circle. Um, mine isn't exactly like that, but you get the idea. And it's a circle, a wreath. Um, because a wreath, which is a circle, because a circle has no end. And that reminds us that God's love has no end. The wreath is made of evergreens because evergreens remain green, even in this winter when everything has become barren and has seems to have no life in it. The evergreen is there to remind us that all that green will come back again, that that life will come back. And there are candles, of course, on the Advent wreath. The candles give us light in the darkness and remind us that Jesus was the light of the world. Now the candles are special on the Advent wreath. We light one each week. So there's four weeks in Advent and there's four small candles um, or small, four um, uh, blue candles on mine. Um, and we light one each week. So last week was the first week of Advent and we lit one candle and this week we will light that one and this one. Now the candles all have a feeling associated with them and they also have a part of the um, Christmas story associated with them. So they kind of have two meanings. So last week um, we lit this candle and that was the hope candle, also known as the prophecy candle because prophets give us hope. And we're gonna talk more about that in our story. This week, we will light the hope candle, also known as the Bethlehem candle. Now, sometimes you will see Advent wreaths that have purple candles. Mine are all blue, and so we have them in Sunday school. They're all blue. Um, and sometimes, but you will see ones that might have purple candles, and that's fine. Some churches have blue and some have purple. It's perfectly fine. Some Advent wreaths also have uh, the third week will be a pink candle. Perfectly fine. We don't use that um, in Sunday school, but some places do. So that's fine if you see that somewhere. But the center candle is always white. 
and that is our Christ candle. Now, you know, in Sunday school, we light a Christ candle every week. But since we are in Advent, the time when we are waiting for Christ's birth, we take a pause on lighting the Christ candle and light the Advent candles. The weekly candles instead and then on christmas either christmas eve or christmas day we light the advent can the uh, the christ candle again but we have to wait so i wonder if you have an advent wreath in your house or if you know someone that does you can have your very own advent wreath. In the emails, um, there is a printable advent wreath that you can make. It has the wreath and it has four um, coloring sheets that you can form into tubes to make candles so that you can have your very own advent wreath um, and help celebrate the season in that way. So take a look at that and I hope you enjoy making that. I would love to see pictures too. So um, enjoy that. Now, let us get ready for our story. We will do our opening prayer. I'm not going to light a candle just yet because we're going to do that during our story. But if you have a candle at home, you can go ahead and light it if you want. That is perfectly fine. And I have a special prayer for us for Advent. Because nothing is impossible for you, dear Jesus, please help me to be patient and loving and helpful while I wait for your coming at Christmas. Amen. Blue is the color of hope. It is the color of the waters of creation. Some say it is the color of Mary's dress. So we use blue to mark the season of Advent. It's such a hope-filled time of the year. A king is coming. But he is not the kind of king that people expected. This king had no army, no great house, no great riches. This king was a baby born in a stable. The king who was coming is still coming. This is a mystery. It's a big mystery. Christmas. And that is why Advent is so important, because it takes time to get ready to enter a mystery. It can be very hard to enter such a big mystery, so we need time to get ready. It is easy to walk right past a mystery and not even know that it was there, especially when we're so busy shopping and going to school and doing so many things, going to activities and so many things, it is so easy to walk right past that mystery and not know that it's there. And that is why the church a long time ago set aside four weeks to help us get ready. It is such a big mystery. It takes a long time. We are all on a journey during this time, a journey to Bethlehem. We're gonna go, let's go, let's get ready. Let's get on this journey and get ready to go to Bethlehem. We're gonna go with the prophets and the shepherds and the magi and the Holy Family. All of them are all on this road to Bethlehem. Prophets are people who come so close to God that they know what is most important. So they can help show us the way to Bethlehem. 
The prophets knew that something was going to happen. They weren't exactly sure what it was, but they knew something big was going to happen. But they knew it was going to take place in Bethlehem. They didn't know what exactly it was, but they knew the place was Bethlehem. This is Isaiah. And Isaiah was a prophet. He spread God's word to all the people. He told the word of God, and he said that there would be a Messiah, a Messiah that was a light shining in the darkness. These are the words of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. And those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them a light has shined. This is the light of the prophets. It reminds us that prophets like Isaiah listened to God. So they can show us the way to Bethlehem. Let us enjoy this light. This is Mary. And this is Joseph. This is the donkey. Mary and Joseph are on their way to Bethlehem so they can show us the way. They had a surprise. An angel came to Mary and Joseph and told them that they would have a special baby, the special son of God, and that they would name him Jesus. They had to go to Bethlehem. And as they went, Mary was very close to having a baby. She was large with child. And when you are very close to having a baby, it is very hard to walk. So Joseph would help Mary on the donkey and so that she could ride as they journeyed to Bethlehem. But when you are very close to having a baby, it is very hard to ride a donkey. So she would ride as long as she could, and then she would get down and walk as long as she could. It was a very long journey. It took a long time, and they must have been the last people to Bethlehem that night. is the light of the Holy Family. The Bethlehem candle, the peace candle. The light of the Holy Family. Let us take a moment to enjoy this light. And now I will change this light. I will change this light. Before the light was just here in this one place, in this one time. And now the light can be in more places at once the light of the prophets, the light of hope, 
and the light of the Holy Family, the light of peace, which tells us to not be afraid, just like the angel said, do not be afraid. This light reminds us of that. Now they are mixing together and they can be in more places and more times. They can even find you and be there when you need it. So that is the story of the first two weeks of Advent. Next week, we will do the next two weeks. This will get a lot longer. And I wonder how the prophets listened to God. How did they hear God? What did it sound like? What did it feel like to hear God's word? What did it feel like to spread that message? I wonder so many things about being a prophet. I wonder how they knew it was God that was talking to them. And I wonder if there are any prophets today. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder what the way to Bethlehem is like. I wonder if you know anybody who has been to Bethlehem. I wonder how Mary and Joseph felt when the angel spoke to them. What did it feel like to be told that you were gonna be a parent to God's special child? That's amazing. What would that be like? How did Mary feel? How did Joseph feel? And I wonder how they felt on the way to Bethlehem on that journey. And I wonder how you are celebrating Advent. You are getting ready for Christmas. And I wonder what you hope to do this week. Hope you find something fun. Hope you're finding some good ways to celebrate and all those things. Take care of yourselves and be safe. And I hope you join me next week to hear the rest of the story of how we're going to get to Bethlehem. Take care of yourselves, guys. <laughs>